hi my lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video i'm doing a video for you this video is for you guys you guys have asked me to film an entire perfume collection video which i always avoid i think the last one i did was at least a year ago or a year and a half ago because there's a lot of perfumes and you know it's it's a lot to film but i'm doing it for you because you guys are amazing you don't ask for much so i'm gonna start down here because i still have a few perfumes here but there's a big perfume that i want to show you guys because you guys always you guys seem to think maybe this is like a fake perfume or like is it as big as it seems but i'm telling you i have this perfume in my collection i'm never gonna get rid of it by the way because i love the perfume and I love having this bottle. I think only a few were made in the whole entire world. And I'm one of the people that have this. And this is my Burberry Black. Ah, oh, this is my Burberry Black. This perfume is so strong. This was made by the famous, one of my favorite noses, um, Mr. Mason Francis, called Dijon. Um, yeah, he made this. Like, he made some incredible perfumes before he started his own brand and this perfume is potent so much potent that you need only the little bit um oh you can open it this way once it's open this is the cap so heavy it's crazy and this is it right here and then you can open the top if i can open it oh Okay, I'm not gonna bother because this is really hurting my finger and then you kind of dip this into it and you use it to apply onto your skin this is so gorgeous it looks amazing on my perfume cabinet although I feel like it's gonna break it so I put it in this box but yeah this is the biggest perfume in my collection uh, and the most this is the most expensive perfume yeah and the most expensive perfume in my collection now to compare it to let's say 100 mil perfume this is with bouquet you guys you guys can see this is 900 mil by the way this is with bouquet next to it this is the biggest perfume in my collection this is 250 mil of ambre nuit let me move closer so you can see that it's significantly bigger really heavy if i drop this perfume guys i'm just going to i'm just i'll cry and this is it next to 75 mil just so you guys can see how big this perfume is it's amazing if you can get my burberry black get it but make sure you try it first because this perfume is not for everybody it's a very strong strong i think it has patchouli rose a few notes that i can't actually remember but this is a strong potent perfume i'm so proud of my big old bottle i really really love it and i just love it i think it's fantastic so I'm going to take you guys upstairs now and I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to um, put it in the niche and designer category. I think that's the quickest way to do it um, and the best way to do it. I will not be going into notes. I will not be going into like any deep details. I'm literally going to be showing you the perfumes I've got so that the video won't be too long. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys at the end. So my loves, we are going to start with my Penhaligans collection. We have Luna, Cairo, Artemisia, the favorite Alfetti. In all of these perfumes, out of all of these perfumes, this is my first ever perfume from Penhaligans. I love this so much. This has a vanilla tea, very, very sophisticated scent. The favorite is probably the most likable Penhaligans. I feel like it's the most wearable and most people always seems to like this one and artemisia of course cairo is beast mode you can't go wrong with alfetti if you like a woody and spicy and boozy perfume this is the one for you a little dusty because i've not worn this in such a long time and we've got um clara over here 
this is such a beautiful boozy vanilla i really really love it um we've got one of the best um rose perfume ever this is duchess rose extremely unique i'm not going to go into any notes guys i'm just going to pick on a few perfumes from each of the row and i probably suggest to you the best ones that i love you guys know how much i love constance oops changing constance this is salted caramel pimento cardamom a very very sexy and beautiful scent i always pull for that during the autumn and winter and i've got my backup bottle here i've not started wearing it just yet but i love it so so much this is also a very popular one by pen this is cairo is it cairo babylon <laughs> babylon is a very unique um vanilla it's got cypriot oil which is a very challenging note but it's really really lovely in this one um, I've got some discontinued gems over here. This one is called Canubia, I believe. This has a very strong, like, um, Middle Eastern vibe, but you can't find this anywhere. This is a gem to me. I love it. Um, this was released last year, and this is um, Sports Car Club. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like, I'm so glad I have this in my collection because it was a limited edition, but it's amazing. And Impressa is one of their best sellers. Like a lot of people love this one because it's quite similar to Coco Mademoiselle, in my opinion. But this is better for sure. I've got a few Lartisans at the back. And I've got this one right here. This is um, Drule de Rose. This one is a very unique um, rose scent. It's like a watery rose. Very, very unique. It smells incredible as well. And we've got my baby here banana banana i love this perfume so much you guys already know one of my top five for life like this will be in my top five top three i am obsessed with this perfume um oops we've got this perfume i barely use it but it's so so nice it's like um it's a rose scent it's called memoir the rose it's a rose scent with a difference i really love it i don't know why i'm not reaching for it maybe it's because it's at the back and i've got one of the best ambery um ambery what's the word powdery perfume this is Le, Le Hambre extreme this this is strong guys really strong you can see the juice even from the bottle amazing so that is most of my penhaligon's um perfumes um i think i've got more but i'm not even gonna bother going to let me just show you more from here i've got rackets you guys i don't show you this perfume because it's really hard to find and i don't want to review perfumes that you guys don't find it easy to locate so this one is oh my gosh this is so unique it's very fresh but long lasting probably the longest lasting freshie in my collection i shared this with my husband love and this is their bestseller the original alfetti i absolutely love this perfume this to me is more masculine than feminine but with a little bit of a vanilla um, layering you will definitely get a little bit of sweetness out of it it is kind of sort of sweet but it's more like a citrusy scent really really good and i have to point this perfume out this is countess dorothea this has a wine note that smells incredible unreal super unique discontinued which is super annoying but if you find this out of all the penhaligons if you find this go ahead and buy it it is worth it stunning scent so as you guys know most of my perfumes are niche and this whole section is niche perfumes now i've got all my mfks right here this is the extrait this is oud satin mood we've got grand soir which is really really hard to find at the moment this perfume guys oh my god my husband did buy this off of me for 20 pounds <laughs> but um i said can i just please have it back in my section just so i can just look at it i do wear this perfume once in a blue moon but i love it so much on my husband it is super duper sexy ambery vanilla it's quite a thick smelling scent but it's very very unique nevertheless i love this baccarat rouge 540 will always always be in my collection incredible 
iconic fragrance this is my Jo Malone I've got my Mer and Tonka I've got Velvet Rose and Oud this is a really good entry into Oud if you are somebody that wants to try Oud fragrance and you're not really sure if you know you're gonna want a hood, a hood perfume but this is really really good like trust and believe this one is new to my collection this is cherry smoke by tom ford it's a cho choky it's a smoky lost cherry i love this is quite a controversial one because people think it's too expensive and i feel like that's just tom ford tom ford has always been more expensive than a lot of the designer houses um i don't mind this scent i feel like it's so sexy and my husband loves it like my husband is not the easiest man to please so when he loves a perfume i just like i get extra obsessed with it this is one of the best and most long-lasting vanilla perfumes in my collection love love um and here we have by Rado about a freak oh this is like the ultimate spring and summer scent incredible all right we've got Andre silent ways i don't know why i don't wear this perfume often enough it is so so stunning i do wear it as you can see there's a little bit of a dent in here but i need to wear this more i think the tuberose bothers me sometimes sometimes not all the time um but yeah i absolutely love it this is one of my favorite vanillas in the whole entire world and this is annie and i'm so glad i got this in 100 ml it is super super stunning it's a superstar of a fragrance and back here we've got all my parfums the mali we've got over there Cassili. we've got um oriana delina and delina no this is delina exclusive oh this might be my favorite perfume in my whole entire collection it just might be i am so obsessed with it and this is of course the original delina this one is new to my collection this is by the seven virtue and this is vanilla woods simple beautiful vanilla i've been wearing it to bed a lot and my husband loves it we've got oud bouquet by lancome this i think it might be discontinued guys or maybe they're gonna reformulate and bring it back but i can't find it anywhere and i'm just glad i have this um bottle look at my dent this is one of my most complimented perfume Oops. sorry about that so this is one of my most complimented perfumes in the entire world and i love it love it so much Another incredible vanilla that I'm obsessed with is my Spirit Twist Double Vanilla by Guerlain. I'm so glad I have got this bottle because this is the OG bottle. It's stunning. Um, over here, Lune Felin. This is the most beautiful bottle in my collection. I love it. The Gold Flakes is just giving expensive, bougie vibes. This is one of the spiciest perfumes ever, but I love it. I love how long it lasts on my skin. Stunning. No vanilla. Another vanilla incredible smells boozy smells elegant smells wow um we've got here lost cherry why is my lost cherry in the niche section but anyway never mind um lost cherry i'm so glad i've got the 100 mil because this perfume is a love for me this is my favorite cherry perfume i do wish it lasted longer though but it does last but not as long as i would like it to but nevertheless i love um this perfume is also kind of sort of new to my collection and this is seta as you guys can see i've not really worn this and that is because i'm not sure about it my husband despises this perfume i don't know why i wouldn't say it's a horrible scent it's lovely but you gotta be careful with it because it gives off in the dry down there's something strange in this perfume i can't quite put my hand on it just yet so this might be leaving my collection but um yeah i'm not gonna say too much about it but maybe i'll give it a good wear this week and then i'll see if i'm gonna keep it in my collection or not but so far it's like a massive maybe another wonderful vanilla is oh shit i mean bleep <laughs> oh my gosh oh do well by the teak guys see what i do for you for that subscribe to my channel like this video right in this moment and subscribe to my channel guys my goodness me look at that mess anyway 
Oduel is a green vanilla. Incredible, guys. I love it so much. You're always just going to hear me say, I love it, I love it, I love it in this video because most of my perfumes I do genuinely love and I've decluttered perfumes without even making videos about it because sometimes you just kind of get rid of some perfumes in your collection and you don't need to like make videos about it. Sometimes I do because like, you know, I just want to get rid of them but some I'll just give to friends or family or someone. But yeah, um, oh, back there are my buns. This is the ultimate date night scent. My husband always tells me wear but New York nights, not New York nights, <laughs> wear Greenwich Village when we're going out. Like he always wants me to put this one on. It's so beautiful. I'm loving my nails as well. Actually, I did this yesterday, um, but it wasn't a nice experience. The guy that did my nails, he was so aggressive. I'm just like, ah, what did I do to you? Anyway, um, this is one of the best gourmands ever. This is like salty. It's like um, a little bit aquatic. It's um, got caramel. It's oh, it's amazing. New York nights. You can't go wrong with it. Um, we've got Celine Black Tie. I've been going on about this perfume recently. I think it's one of the most elegant vanillas ever. Like ever. Look how much I've used, guys. I'm obsessed with it. Um... I need to actually sort this old perfume cabinet out. Um, over here, we have Side Effects by Initio. Like, look at it. This is so, so stunning. I'm, I'm like, this is one of my most complimented perfumes as well. It is, um, um, what do you call it? Cinnamon, rum, vanilla. It's very spicy and boozy scent as well. This is my amazing body Sia, And this one is called... I keep forgetting the name this is called the victorious i have this in a 50 ml this is a summer scent so i've not worn it but i'm going to be wearing it a lot during the summertime it is stunning this is my go-to perfume of the moment i am incredibly obsessed with this one this is my strychnina vicanto oh guys this is passion fruit this is such a juicy fruity sweet inviting sexy perfume i think i'm gonna wear this on valentine's day i absolutely love so that is my second shelf done i wanted to mention this perfume to you guys out there these are for my guys if you are trying to look for what to wear on valentine's day go for teddy by penhaligans like anytime my husband wears this <laughs> All I can say is I, 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 this happens to me. I have no words. I'm just so in love with this perfume. This scent is so, so stunning. Focus. Really stunning scent for Valentine's Day, for every day, for your wedding day, all, all year, every season. This is amazing. So that's Teddy by Penhaligans. Moving on to my next cabinet. Whew. It's a lot, a lot of work, guys. <laughs> My back is killing me. Okay, so first we've got Sweet Rose by Rosendo Mateu. Mateu? Ah, oh, guys, this smells like rich. Richness, riches, money, wealth. Like, this is something somebody wears that someone that drives a Bentley's wearing... I don't, I don't even know. Like, it's just rich, rich vibes all around. This is one that's getting into their Bentley, into their Range Rover sports. Like, this, this is that perfume right here. It just gives rich and sweetness and rose and amazing. I think this has, like, three different types of rose. Um, but it's really stunning. Now, we move on to these babies right here. We've got my love extreme we've got love don't be shy i will always have this in my collection this is so sweet we've got skirt so by mila aris another oud perfume that's quite sweet we've got root smoking i love this so much and over here we have passessoire now this baby is giving me a lot of confusion at the moment because i don't know if i'm going to keep this in my collection the queen's no is it's not working for me, but I'm going to give it a good wear this week as well. And I'll see if I'm going to keep it or not. If I'm not going to keep a lot of perfumes here, actually, there's a lot that I love. I doubt that there'll be 
a huge selection of perfumes that i don't love but if for every reason there is more perfumes i don't love i would be doing a declutter video very soon and on this row we've got all my kayalis we've got vanilla 28 we've got royal vanilla royal oud we have um elixir 11 this is the first kayali We've got the sweetest one from Kiali Eden Juicy Apple. Men love this one. And this is my favorite Kiali. This is my, um, whoops, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I dropped it. That's why this um, mark is there. But I love this perfume so much. I also have um, Musk 12, but it's in a smaller bottle. So this is my Musk 12. I wear this to bed quite a bit. I love. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a bigger bottle though. But uh, I love this. The way this makes me feel when I go to bed. It's just incredible. It's replaced my Narciso um, Poudre. That's the one I used to wear to bed all the time. So I'm going to go through this roll pretty quickly. We have Chocolate Queen. Oh, I love this perfume so much. I love it. Oh. This is a chocolatey scent. It's probably the most chocolatey perfume in my collection. I love it. And I layered it the other day with my um, Angel Muse EDT. Oh my God. Because this one has some chocolate and raspberry. It's quite fruity, but it works really well with Chocolate Queen. So if you got both of those, try them and let me know what you think. This is discontinued, by the way. Like if you find it, get it. But um, I've not seen it anywhere in like months. And then we've got another one of my babies. This is Venom of Love by Pauline Nasha and Navitas. Amazing cherry scent. And it's got some chocolatey, like Dolce de Leche type vibe going on. This was my first Navitas. This I purchased with my own coins. This is the Embrace. This reminds me of Zerjov's Italica, but this is way better. Um, I've got over here gold by commodity. Oh guys, these perfumes by commodity are given. They're given. I have a discount code um Abby10, which I will also have in my description bar below. We've got milk. This is so comforting, so beautiful, like tonic, incredible, long-lasting, amazing. We have my Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh. This perfume is so heavy. This is Luby Crown. This I don't wear very often. They have, this has tonka bean and other notes in there. I think it has patchouli. I don't wear it often, but when I do, I really love it. Um, I'm definitely keeping it in my collection, though. I'm not getting rid of it at all. This is my favorite bodicea to date. This also is being discontinued, but you can still get this in arrows and selfridges. It's called The Bravery. I loved it. If you like hypnotic poison, you would like this. But this is hypnotic poison on like a high, the highest level ever. It's like a million times better. But if you like that kind of perfume, hypnotic poison, you would love this. It is very, very bougie as well. Oh, we've got my love at the moment. This is Jardins the Misva. Oh, he's a date note for me in this perfume. Oh my god, I also have a 10% discount on this perfume. Amazing. These are my Lartisans at the back. This one is Mirabilis. Love that. We have Luby. Luby, what is this one? This is Luby Doo. Yeah, this is Luby Doo. Another heavy one. This has a note of strawberry. Very, very nice. Very nice. Perfect for spring and summer. We've got my Montals right here. This is Intense Cafe. Love, love, love. It doesn't have that much coffee in it, but I like it a lot. Um, Roses Mask, you can't go wrong. Compliment Beast. Amazing. This perfume has been discontinued, unfortunately, but this is one of my favorite perfumes in my collection. I barely speak about it because you guys can't find it. It's not, nowhere to be found. I got mine from Harrods, and I cannot find a perfume to compare it to because it's that unique so if you see this get it trust and believe and it's one you can share with your partner i've got my soradoras here this is brosiliande this perfume i love in the opening but the dry down is challenging for me but i'm still gonna use it um i've got 10 percent discount code on all of the 
Soradora perfumes. I like the bottles. They're just so chic and so like they're so like elegant to me and like different. I like the marble top to to them. This gives me like a Coca Cola vibe, but not in the dry down. The dry down is more masculine, I think. It smells good on my husband though. But this Orchid Rouge get this one <laughs> this is a fantastic vanilla scent just get it like don't even think about it trust me you're going to love it over here we have tardis by karna clean girl aesthetic right here amazing this next one is pretty new to my collection and this is my oh my camera by latafa i haven't worn it much but it's nice spicy vanilla not similar to angel share so don't worry um even though it, people compare it and people say it's like a dupe i think yeah the bottle is kind of is the bottle even similar i won't even say the bottles are similar but like the, it's not a dupe it's not a dupe but it's a nice perfume on its own so oh sh oh god oh god okay right so let me show you my two replicas which are right here these are my favorite replicas at the moment we have um by the fireplace very woody almost like you know when you light up a matchstick that scent is what i get from this and jazz club it's just such a smoky scent i would never layer these two together though because i'm just gonna smell like smoke like i'm about to <laughs> get smoked up <laughs> up in here <laughs> <laughs> but yeah these are really stunning and i'm glad i got them in 30 mil now we're gonna move on to the next part right so this uh also niche mixer designer we've got my angel shell over there my baby neroli blanc best orange blossom scent in the entire world i also have a discount code for you guys if you wanted to get it it's called from abby with love i'll also have it linked down below we have my wood sage and sea salt. This is like fresh spring water from the mountains. I love it. Peregrina is my rose and myrrh and caramel and like beautiful, elegant, elevated. Oh, this is amazing. I might wear this on Valentine's Day, maybe in the evening. I'll see. Shalima Tonka. This one is a limited edition. Challenging for me to wear, so I wear it only sometimes. But the dry down just oh, it makes me feel so so sexy. What is this Kayali doing down here? I thought that was all my Kayalis. Love Fest Burning Cherry. It does smell identical to Lost Cherry, but doesn't last at all on me anyway. Over here we have this um Dune Nuit guys right here <laughs> this is a lipsticky powdery perfume that smells incredibly feminine great compliment getting scent it is so so lovely if you like a feminine scent try this one out oh this part is all squeezed up man abby right next one is my way by Giorgio armani uh, this is my way intense actually because the original my way i'm not a big fan of um, but i love this one it's really lovely this is one of my favorite perfume of all time this is tender nui by isabi i am obsessed with this perfume uh, next one is jimmy Choo. i want you forever i would get this over the original anytime any day i think this one has cherry and some other notes in there la perla, possi la perla possibilities sexy 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 that's all i can say sexy rose spicy so so amazing right so here we have a uh, orangey chocolate vanilla this is orchidy rouge orchidy vanilla <laughs> uh we've got a trap rev by louis vuitton this is delina's little sister smells incredible we've got one of the best and long-lasting perfumes in my collection roses vanilla by mancera you cannot go wrong with this beast mode beast mode rose perfume it's incredible we have over here my princess by killian um this is back in stock now in the uk but not in this bottle so i'm definitely gonna get new one um princess is marshmallowy like a gourmand but a lot lighter than love don't be shy this perfume i don't even use it but 
I'm gonna keep it in my collection. Why? Because I love the bottle. The scent is light. Um, it's not gourmand as described, and I'm not like a love. It's not like a love for me, but I will keep it because of the bottle. I will recommend it though. If you want like a light summer scent, you can get that. Um, we've got my Narciso Poudre over here. I've not reached for this in so long because I use different perfumes when I go to bed now. But I love it nevertheless. Powdery musky scent. Amaze balls. We've got here Narciso. What Narciso is this? This is Narciso Rouge. Yes. Why didn't they just write the name on it? Anyway, this is Narciso Rouge. It's a powdery, musky, lipsticky type of perfume. It's incredible. Right, this is my Alafolie by Lancome. Love. Fruity, sweet, gourmand. This is so hard to come by. If you can get this perfume, please do. One of the best caramel vanilla perfume ever. Vanilla West Indies by Scent Bath. This is a fantastic perfume, guys, by L'Artisan. I don't know why anyone is... People are not screaming about this perfume, but it's amazing. This is a Tonka-based perfume that is so lovable. It's got some citruses at the top. Um, I don't know if that's actually listed, but that's what I smell. At the back over here, we have um, Lancome's Hypnose. We've got Red Temptation Winter by Zara. Labelle, which I think I'm going to get rid of because... I do love it, I really do, but there are other sweet perfumes in my collection that I'm loving. Givenchy Hot Couture is going to be my collection forever. They've changed the bottle, but I've not smelt it recently, I don't know. But that's like, it's like a raspberry, um, fruity, sparkling kind of scent. We've got over there Casablanca, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. We've got my pineapple, which I have to get out and show this perfume some love and respect <laughs> i love it so much guys and i've got a backup bottle of this perfume as well um over here we have armani c fiori unfortunately it's also discontinued so i don't really talk about it on my channel because you guys can't find it um but i love it oh my gosh it's soft it's feminine it's powdery it's sweet it's beautiful it's lactonic it's everything right over here chanel chance otondra one of the best chanel's in my opinion we have oops burberry hair intense you can find this one in the uk but i don't think it's in the states anymore but um it's really really beautiful smells similar to baccarat rouge but not as potent i would say um we've got here chloe nomad i love this perfume this is like my work perfume i should actually do a video on like an everyday perfume that you can wear to work we've got an og boy goodie this is dolce and gabbana the one essence um it's a very unique scent i will always have it in my collection too and this is Dolce & Gabbana, also kind of similar in scent profile, but this is a limited edition bottle. So I think that's it for this section. We've got two more sections to go, guys. Right, kicking off with Wish by Chopard. This is a very, very old perfume that I, uh, that I always have in my collection. I used to layer this with Angel by Mugla. Love. This is like caramel and some other notes. Um, we've got here my eye star by mugla angel nova i love this so much these are all my pepe jeans perfumes over there um they look really good i love the bottles i rarely wear this to be honest but <laughs> i do really like them and they're super affordable and um, we've got my solia blanc by tom ford the ultimate summer scent suntan lotion and coconut uh we've got my scandals over there we've got the scandal by night the original scandal scandal Le perform we've got all my dior's here Gris dior ambre nui feb delicious <laughs> we've got um bel de jour and at the back over there if you guys are wondering this is a gift for happiness sparkles when she comes down to the uk because it was her birthday and i wanted to surprise her so this is her gift she loves banana banana by the way she's like obsessed with it so i had to get it for her over here we've got my 
Chanel Coco Noir. We also have Coco Mademoiselle Intense. We have um, Cherosa 62, the other parfum. Um, 402 Bonf Perfuma. This was my first PR when I started my YouTube channel. I think I had like 500 subscribers when they sent this to me. So thank you so much. Um, this is Carolina Herrera, very good girl. The only flanker worth buying, in my opinion. We've got the ultimate alien right here. This is a love or a hate. <laughs> For me, it's a love. It wasn't always a love at first sniff, but I ended up just falling in love with it. We have one of my favorite bottles ever. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. I love this perfume. AI put me onto this, and I just ran along and bought it, and I fell in love. Um, we've got Libre Parfum, this is the newest one and I love it so much. That honey note is just doing it for me and the lavender is not so prominent. I absolutely love. We've got Alien Essence Absolute in this corner. It's a shame they discontinued this perfume but my juice is so, so juicy. I love this perfume so much. Right, so we've got the last section to go through. Okay, here we go. We've got MCM. Um, this is their first perfume. It's nothing to write on about, to be honest, guys. <laughs> I just love the packaging, but it's like a fresh, bitter-smelling, fruity floral scent. Um, if you want to get it for the bottle, then fine. But aside from that, this is nothing to write on about, to be honest. This is my incredible hypnotic poison. I've been wearing this perfume for years. My husband loves this. It will always be in my collection. Thankfully, I have the old formulation. Valentino, Donna Bonnie and Roma. This is new to my collection. It is such a man magnet, guys. Like, guys love this perfume. Prada Paradox. You can't go wrong. Twilly Ginger. I think I prefer this to the original Twilly. The original Twilly doesn't get any love from me much. I always forget about it. Look at it. I would recommend it for sure, but I don't know. Like, I just don't pull for it. I don't know if it's the tuberoses. I don't know. I don't dislike this perfume. Like, I don't see me getting rid of it, but I don't pull for it. I feel like it's just one of those ones that I admire from afar. But if you like a gingery tuberose and other notes kind of perfume, something you can wear without offending someone then you can go for this i feel like it's longer lasting than it's flanker but i prefer um i prefer the flanker for sure like i think it smells better for me anyway over here we have c intense by jojo armani this has black currant syrup i think it's so so stunning so sweet so amazing oh chef's kiss now this one i think is gonna leave my collection you know why guys i really like it and i wear it in the summertime but it smells i don't know it smells a bit aquatic and it's making me feel a bit nauseous but i'm going to wait for summer to arrive before i actually do a declutter so i see what this is saying this i loved but i don't know what happened it's just it's just not giving at the moment we have Lanchu D Rouge, the only Lanchu D you need to get. Forget the rest, just get this one. I also have the Intense at the back. Mm, yeah, this is the Intense. And this has a prominent sesame note that bothers me. But I'm still going to keep it in my collection for now. Because knowing me, I just like, I go off my fragrances sometimes. And then I start falling in love with them again. So I give them a break and I try again. Um, this I thought was a limited edition, but you can still get this. This is like Gucci Gucci. What is this? What is this Gucci? <laughs> That's it. It's Gucci guilty love Edition this is this is a freshie. It smells really nice not gonna offend anybody, but You don't need this in your collection, but it's a nice to have uh, We have over here Black Perfecto by Garlan. This is a dark, dark cherry and licorice perfume that I rarely wear. But I feel like there will be an occasion for it one day. So I won't be getting rid of it. But I do, I do like it. I don't love it. It's strange. But I was, I'll wear it one day. <laughs> I've worn that like a handful of times. And I do like it. But it's strange. It's a, it's a strange one. 
this is an og but a goodie cinema by ysl my first ever ysl i love it to this day i was wearing that like when i used to go on dates with my husband back in the day this is one of my favorite summer scent this is my dolce garden by dolce and gabbana this is my tiffany ankle intense i love this so much it's fresh it doesn't last at all like the longevity on this is so bad but it smells really good oh gosh abby why oh why okay so this is dk and why this is dk and why this is um be delicious uh this has a guava no i believe this looks like it says abby but it's ab1 <laughs> yeah i wore this like twice last year summer it's nice um it doesn't last a fruity one nothing special but it's nice this is my girl of now by lisa somebody asked me about the orange blossom note in this perfume i get it but it's so light to me this is more of a pistachio um vanilla like a little bit gourmand but it smells so synthetic guys but i love it nevertheless it has like a honey vibe to me just to me it might not be for everybody but it's a bit honeyed like to me this is a special edition c i've worn it once c passion i've worn it once i it's probably going to be decluttered very soon because i just it's just boring it's a boring scent <laughs> um this one is by michael cause and this one is called sexy de janeiro sexy yeah de janeiro oh this perfume is so pointless guys i can't even tell you <laughs> but i'm gonna keep it for holiday because i can just throw it in my bag it's only 30 mil um i think it's um a limited edition but yeah it's nothing to write on my about to be honest but it can stay for now uh this is my love perfume this is the actual perfume i was wearing the day i met my husband this is insolence by galan this is the old bottle the old formulation the best formulation i really love this one so much this is um violets and fruity powdery stunning so so beautiful and it doesn't smell old like some people like to say right dolce and gabbana intense this is light blue intense this is the ultimate summer perfume like if you think summer think this perfume get this perfume it's gonna keep you smelling so fresh all day all night long in the heat this perfume will not let you down i really love it we've got over here my only water-based perfume this is by bully 1803 this is tuberose now for somebody who doesn't really like tuberose this is given i love this this has clove i think it has vanilla as well it's a little bit spicy it's like a spicy tuberose with vanilla i really enjoy it and it's great for all year round as well this one i think is gonna go i think i'm gonna declutter this perfume because i have not worn it in like a year and a half i don't think i will still recommend it because i think it's nice for a summer perfume but for someone who has a lot of perfumes this doesn't have i don't feel pushed to wear it i don't like see and be like oh my gosh i really want to wear this um he has a very prominent coconut scent i really like it but i just don't i just don't wear it anymore i don't know um but it's lovely nevertheless i know a lot of people love that perfume so another one that um everyone loves is flora botanica by balenciaga and i thought this was a spring summer scent but i would wear this all year round actually this has a note of cannabis but i don't get that this is not smelling like weed to me this just smells like a floral really pretty fresh kind of scent a little bit green as well so i think that is the majority of my perfumes i've got perfume um what you call it i've got perfume body sprays as well and i've got miniature perfume bottles let me actually show you real quick my tiny bottles well, these are not so tiny these are like 30 mil and this is my salt caramel by shea and blue and i've also got my black tulip by shea and blue love those perfumes a lot um i've got two more by shea and blue and one of them is um i cannot pronounce that a trap belladonna 
um i don't know i can't even remember what notes are in this one i need to wear it um and over here we have english cherry blossom it smells like a very um unique light cherry scent it's nice um uh, but it doesn't really last that long um but it's nice so these are my cute little miniature bottles. This is my tiny Twilly. That's my Lehambre and this is my Scandal. I really love them. They're just the cutest. So I've also got this by Paco Rabanne. This is called Dangerous Me. This smells similar to Baccarat Rouge as well, guys. It's really, really good. And over here, I have my Turkish Rose Oil by Nest. This was kindly sent to me by AI The Great. Thank you so much. Like, every time I see this, I just think of her and i just smile this is so stunning it goes with anything rose like it's amazing i cannot wait for this to come to the uk i want to get the vanilla one i want to get all of them and the new one that is the coconut one i want to get my nose on that one as well so fingers crossed this comes to the uk right guys i think this is everything <laughs> uh, i'm pretty sure i've missed something out um but these are all the perfumes. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, I absolutely tried my best. I need to reorganize them. Like this is the nicest looking part, to be honest. Um, this one is the most well organized um, section of my perfume. This section is not too bad as well, actually. It's actually quite nice. But yeah, that is it, guys. So my lovelies, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my whole entire perfume collection. If you have stayed until the end, please leave me some blue hearts. So I know that you stayed until the end. Um, let me know if you spot any favorites. Let me know what your perfume collection is looking like. Because a lot of you guys, when you started following me, you only had a few perfumes in your collection. But now you guys are building your collection. And it makes me so, so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.